welcome to my channel. My name is Mandy and I am a full-time reseller. On today's video, I have an unboxing from a new um, liquidation company. They are called JTC Auctions, I believe is the name. Um, that is the website. I'll maybe put it in the description below. They do have mystery boxes like the one I have and then they also do like manifested ones where they will actually show you photos of what is in the box. Those are a little bit more expensive than the ones that are mystery because they have to take the photos. From what I could tell looking on the website, if you get the mystery boxes, it is $3 a piece, but you do have to pay for shipping. And then the ones with the photos are $4 a piece. So I went with the one that is a mystery, so I don't know what it's going to be. From the videos that I watched on YouTube, I couldn't find very many that were current. So looking at those videos and then based on the photos on their website, for the boxes that showed what was in it. I'm guessing they do liquidation from, I don't know exactly, but maybe like Macy's. It seems like a lot of things that you probably find at TJ Maxx, uh, Marshalls, Ross, that kind of thing. I believe everything should have new tags. I'm not 100% sure on that. I couldn't find that information on the website, but from the photos I was seeing, pretty much everything I think had tags on it. So I got the one that had 46 items that ended up being $138 and then it was $16.41 for shipping. They are located in Minnesota. I am in Wisconsin. I ordered this box yesterday morning and it came the following day at three o'clock. So pretty quick shipping. They are only a state over. Shipping might, you know, be a little bit more depending on where you're located in the country. So if I keep, if I keep everything in this box, I don't know if I will, it will be $3.36 per item. To me, I think that's doable, even if it is stuff from TJ Maxx, as long as there aren't any flaws. So I will show you the box because it looks a little awkward. It's like <laughs> misshapen. I don't know what's going on there. This is the tape that I saw in other photos. So this isn't like it was opened or something in transit. So I don't really know what's going on with that box. Maybe it was too big and they tried to make it smaller. I don't know. So I will open it now. Okay, that was a workout to get that open because I don't really understand what they did. There was tape everywhere. It is a little concerning that that box is going to hold 46 items, but we'll see. Everything does look pretty cramped in here. Um, first one is a pair of pants. These are something in brown. I'm not exactly sure what that says. Uh, I don't know what these are. They are cotton, just kind of like a pull on utility pants, I guess. These aren't the worst. Okay, next up is, I'm not sure how to pronounce this one either. It is Linen Bella Embra? Bella Embra? I'm not sure what that says. This is pretty sheer though, but it does say that it is 100% linen, which I have been doing well with. This one was a size, what, large. So, so far everything has been new with tags and season appropriate. This might be the first one without tags. So this is Nicole Miller, 100% linen, size small. I do actually okay with this brand, especially if it is linen. Sincerely Jewels, this I know I've seen at TJ Maxx. So here's a Marshalls tag, so this maybe is where they're getting their stuff from. This is an active set, so a pair of little bike shorts, and then the matching bra top. This is a size small, so we'll see if this counts as one or two. Next up is Blue Spice, not too happy with this one. Size three ankle pants and like this red color skinny. I don't know this brand either. Alphanex? Size large, button front, just kind of like a casual top. This one is new with tags. There could be men's, women's, and children's in here, so I'm happy so far that I haven't had any kids, just because um, for three dollars that might be a little bit hard to make some money back. Um, what is this, Montu, Los Angeles, just a mini dress, smocking in the back. This is a size large. I haven't seen any flaws yet, so I guess that's a plus. 
These are a pair of Tommy Hilfiger size, extra large, new with tags, men's, just flat front shorts. Um, it says they retail for $49.50. Massive apparel. I've never heard of this brand either. Men's shorts. You can tell there were tags on it, or is there one in here? So that's interesting. This was actually in the pocket of the pants. So I'm assuming that these are all from Marshalls. Size extra large on these, just a pull on pair of shorts. Next is Goa Beachwear by, J is it Japna or Japana? I think it's Japna. This is kind of cute. Just a pullover, like little beach dress. This is a size, what? Extra small, but it is um, rayon, cotton, and linen. A skirt from Patrons of Peace, size extra small. Just like a maxi kind of vacation print with a high slit there. Next is a pair of shorts from Happily Gray. These are a lot of brands that I don't know and that I'm wondering if they're maybe more like teen brands. So we'll see. It's kind of like a color block little running shorts. Okay, Rachel Zoe. This is another one I do well with for linen pieces, but there is a hole right there. You can see that. This is a size medium. That might be okay yet though to sell. I'll just have to mark that in the listing. A longer length linen dress. Live in the moment, another brand I don't know, size small. Some of this stuff might end up going to Play-Dohs too. This is a bodysuit with this little cutout here on the neck. A pair of swim trunks, extra, extra large, so a good size. Nautica. Wish I would have gotten these a little bit earlier. I'll probably have to list these like immediately in case someone needs some swim trunks for the 4th of July. This doesn't feel great. This is Nautica, size medium, just a men's like button up, but it's kind of almost more of like a performance material. Jane and Delancey, I do like selling this brand normally in bigger sizes. This is a medium, doesn't appear to be new with tags, just a button front, um, like sleeveless blouse. And this is just rayon and spandex. Skinny girl, size medium. These are not new with tags, so unfortunately I probably won't mess with those. Okay, another Sincerely Jewels. The tag is cut on this. Uh, what do we think here? Skirt? Or a tube top dress? <laughs> uh, maybe tube top dress. I don't know, I'll have to look up what, what this is. All green. Kenzie, size four. Not a huge fan of this brand. Just like a very sheer pop over top. So, so far I'm not like super thrilled, but I'm also not um, like really disappointed. Quality seems to be decent. A lot of them are new with tags. The men's sizing is good. The women's has been a little bit smaller, but we'll see. Brooklyn clothes, Brooklyn cloth. Men's kind of 80s vibe swim trunks. How much did I pay for this? I paid $154. Adrian, what is this? Vitadini. This is just a really lightweight top. So some of these smaller tops I might have to lot together. Um, or they're just going to go for pretty cheap. We'll see. This is a cute top. Patrons for piece or of piece. Of piece, size small again. Just kind of like a ruffle little top. A brand again that I can't say. Size extra large. Is this a kid's brand? I feel like I've gotten this before. It's just polyester. I don't know. Is that a women's extra large? Maybe. Kelvin Klein swimwear. This one might be okay. Size 10. Does not have the tags, unfortunately, but it is a cool color. Check the under area. I don't believe that this was ever worn. 
Michael Kors, just a white shirt. It's saying it retailed for $69.50. Um, yeah, I don't know. Just this Kors on the front. Urban Romantics. Just another little kind of crop top. And this was a size... Not seeing a size on it. Oh, extra small. Okay, next is a top from Premise. I feel like this is going to be more of like a mature brand. Just have an interesting little puff sleeve here. This is a size large, neutral color. Eddie Bauer workwear pants, size 42, or shorts. These should do okay. Good color, it's like the Carhartt tan. Does have cargo pockets. Kate Spade swimsuit. I don't see that it has the tag on it, but it does still have this extra strap. Right now it's just like a one strap, so that must go here if you wanted an extra thing. This is a size small and like a zebra print. It does still have the liner, so this might be okay. I've never seen this before. So this is Gen 7 by 7 for All Mankind. I've never seen that brand before. This is a pencil skirt, kind of like really dark wash though. A button front. So this is a size, what are you? Large, I think. So we'll see how this does. Beach Lunch Lounge. This brand is okay for me. Um, <laughs> it's definitely damaged though. Look at all the holes there. So this is out. So that's the first one that I've seen that is like very damaged. New Balance size 2X. It's a pair of black cropped leggings. Here's another one from that. I don't know what that is. Is it Goa? By Japana? Japana? <laughs> Same type of style, just a different color. And this one is a little bit bigger, size medium. Is this one Road or R-O and D-E? <laughs> it's like a ribbed top. I feel like I should know this brand. This says it should be maybe a set, but I only see the top. Here's another one that needs to get listed immediately. Moon and Madison. I think this will sell. I've, I've got to get this like up tomorrow. It's a little like knit flag tank top, size medium. Christian Siriano, extra small. These feel like linen. So I mean, at least the brands maybe aren't always the best, but they are good material. It's kind of a fun little print an ankle pant. Cynthia Rowley, size small. This feels like linen also. Ran. What are we missing? Nope. So it's like a high neck, kind of funky little top. One clothing, size medium. So romper. I think this is a little romper. I'll probably get this listed really quick too for 4th of July. Olivia Ray. This is what? Size small. Just like a black kind of slinky little dress. This I'm not even... Oh, here's green envelope. Oh, I have it upside down. <laughs> Green envelope, size large, just like a neutral top with an elastic on the waist. Better Together, another brand I don't know. These are really soft, just a pair of baby blue pull-on shorts, kind of like a waffle knit. So a lot of this too I could send to Play-Dohs, which, you know, wouldn't be the worst. I probably wouldn't make all my money back, but I'd make some. This is a size large. It's a cute little denim crop top. 
Kelvin Klein Performance. I've never done good with this brand. Uh, size medium, just like a pull-on kind of utility pant. Sanctuary, another brand I don't do very well with. Extra small. Just a pair of swim bottoms. Pink does still have the liner. And then the last item. Size are we? Size of medium. This is a Playboy shirt. I don't know how big Playboy currently is. I know for a while it had a little bit of a resurgence, but this is still a pretty cool graphic. So I'm going to count how many I have really quick to make sure that I do have the amount that I should. So I do have 46. The bra and short set was counted, counted as one. From just looking at what I had when I showed you, from what I'm seeing, there's only one damaged item that I 100% am not <laughs> going to sell. That one pair of shapewear, I don't know, because you can't sell used shapewear, I don't think, on eBay or Macari, or is it Poshmark? I can't remember which one. So I'm probably just not going to deal with that. So that will raise my cost of goods a little bit. But based on everything else, um, I'm, a, I'm guessing most of it will be listed between like, I don't know, $14 to $25. There might be a couple things that are a little bit, you know, higher or a few things that maybe need to get lotted together to be a little bit more enticing for a buyer. I don't think that this box was horrible. It had good fabric content for the most part. Um, only one item was flawed. Sizes were okay. Kind of a lot smaller sizes for the women's, but the men's were good. The brands were kind of lower tier, but at least the styles are current and that it will help something sell. So some of these might end up actually going in a live show. So would I get this box again? I think I'm gonna hold off on that and see how this goes. If items are selling, you know, somewhat quickly and I am making money, I do like to try and make at least $10 per item that I'm selling for clothing items just to make it worth my time. So time will tell if I get this box again. This is definitely by far better than a couple other boxes that I got. Like I said, I am definitely happy with the variety of styles, the different items, the ease of me being able to list this will be really easy. It's a lot of shorts. It's a lot of tops, like skirts, nothing super intricate that needs a bunch of measurements. So that's another thing that kind of comes in play too, how long it takes me to list it. I mean, a pair of shorts I can probably do in, you know, two minutes. If you're looking to supplement your inventory a little bit, I do believe that most boxes are going to be similar to what I have here, same type of brands. They did have a brands list that was on the website. I mean, some of the brands I highly doubt are ever in these boxes. Some of them were, um, what was in there? Like Good American, Doc Martens. There were some other big names too that I don't know if that truly ever is in these boxes or if they just put it there. So let me know in the comments below what you thought of the box. Would you get this box? Or if you've gotten this box before, let me know kind of what yours are like. I would be interested to see what it'll look like with winter items, if they ever get winter items, just because three something, you know, for winter items would definitely be more enticing to me than summer because you can get a lot more money for, you know, longer pants, jackets, that kind of thing. I don't know if that... Um, changes on their website. I'll have to look, you know, once we get into winter to see if the prices go up or something. So if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give it a like. It really helps out the channel and I really appreciate it. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!